Hi, well, here's my little uh, video on uh, how to change the rear door hinges, door hinge pins on a uh, 40 or E series fan. Um, this is the kit that you see here, and this is the unboxing of the kit. Um, the uh, came from uh, Rock Auto, www.rockorder, Rock Auto Order, and it's the part number 38463. You'll need two of these to do both doors. One package for your door was uh, eight something. Uh, you're going to need one of these. Absolutely, you're not going to get those pins out without an air hammer. I suggest uh, removing the door from the van, making this job so much easier. Um, this here, you see the, the driver's side door, but the passenger side door, what I did is I just stuck it inside the van and propped it up uh, on a box to protect uh, stretching or breaking the electrical connection. Here's a shot from underneath looking at the pin while it's connected to the fan. And you can see a flange there. Well, that's going to have to be drilled out uh, so that you can push the pin up through. And you can see, if you get the bottom one, the, the bottom hinge, it's just impossible to try and push the pin up. Because it's too close to the bumper. And here I am drilling the pin, the bottom out. Uh, to remove that flange. You have to drill uh, a ways in. I found it made a lot easier. The farther you drilled, uh, the easier it will come out. Now taking the air hammer, I, I grease these suckers up with penetrating oil uh, to help. And uh, it did work because I tried it the day before and nothing was coming off. Uh, you're going to have to work at it. And you'll see eventually it will start pushing out and then all of a sudden it will just fly out. I had to go searching through the snow for this one here. Now it sucker just bounced off from inside the van and bounced out into the snow. Uh, you can see they're really rusted and they're worn right in the center there. There's like it's just like a toothpick thin. Now installing those copper caps. Uh, prior to doing that, I put some grease on the hinge here, and you have to put it on the center part of the hinge, not the two end pieces. These two copper pins are uh, bushings to go on either side of this one here, as you see here. Push it in a bit. If it doesn't go all the way in, uh, you might want to just uh, give it a tap with a hammer. Uh, that's what I had to do. Uh, here you see me tapping it with the hammer. Try and tap it as straight as possible. You don't want to damage these because you only get two in a package. So there's no chance for a screw up. And then once you get that done, you place the, the two hinges together and you want to tap in your long pin. And uh, this is what you'll end up with. And you have to bolt at the bottom, tighten it up, and the job is done. All right. Good luck.